settled here in lush coastal North Carolina three generations back, the Matthews family has built an agricultural tradition that began with pork and poultry, but now produces some of the finest performance horses in the world. My grandfather was born and raised here in Sampson County, North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina. His family was farming background. Building on a foundation of old-fashioned virtues like hard work and attention to detail, Matthews Cutting Horses is dedicated to nurturing future generations of horses with the pedigree, confirmation, and preparation to revolutionize the Western performance industry. Matthews Cutting Horses is a stunningly beautiful facility where quality and concern for the welfare of the breeding and young stock, as well as efficiency in the everyday work of starting and training colts, are carefully blended with an appreciation of aesthetics that creates a view worthy of a postcard virtually everywhere you turn. I think North Carolina is ideal for horses, I really do. He gave you the feeling that that you could hold him about anything you put in front of him, you know, and and I, and there's not many horses that do that. I mean, he just got to a point to where he was that smart, that confident about everything he was doing that you know you almost felt invincible. In a little more than a year of competition with Matt Gaines in the saddle, one-time Pepto accumulated more than $331,000 in National Cutting Horse Association earnings. You know, easy to train, um, very, very, very smart, smart about a cow. You know, just smart about anything you ask him, you know, he, he was quick to figure those things out. This striking son of Pepto Boone's Mall out of one time soon by smart little Lena started his successful show career as a semi-finalist in the 2004 NCHA Futurity before launching into an incredible four-year-old season. In 2005, he had a variety of top finishes, including the NCHA Super Stakes Open Championship. He was also reserve champion at the Pacific Coast Cutting Horse Association Stakes and the Suncoast Open Derby. Once he reached that maturity level and everything came together for him and he got, you know, he just became that confident, that smart about what he is doing, you know, I mean, he, I mean, he gave you a real comfortable feeling, you know, every time you went to the herd because, I mean, you just, you know, you just felt like there wasn't a situation that he wasn't going to handle. In early 2006, one-time Pepto won the Abilene Spectacular Open Championship and then followed up with the championship at the Augusta Open Classic as well, scoring a remarkable 229. Despite that amazing start to the season, the decision was made to retire one-time Pepto to stud, even though he was just five years old. With lifetime earnings of 331000 already and several major national championships, the young stallion had nothing left to prove, and the possibility of sustaining an injury on the road was too much to risk. You know, when Jeffrey, when he asked me about, about retiring, you know, he, he said, what do you think? And, and my response to him, I said, I think it's going to cost me a lot of money. But, you know, I said, I think it's something that, you know, you probably need to do. Jeffrey Matthews had known from the start one-time Pepto was a very special horse. He bought the Roan Colt as a yearling at the Western Bloodstock NCHA Futurity Sale for a then record price of $380,000 with plans to make him the cornerstone of a very special program. You know, he sold himself. He was so pretty and he moved well. He was fortunate to show as well as he did. But but when we retired him, we retired him for a reason. He was sound and, and it was more important for me to get those first year owners of those mares bred than it was to have that horse on the road. And that was the one decision Jeff Oswood and Matt Gaines and myself made to retire the horse. Uh, prematurely, you know, he would have had two and a half or a year and a half more showing, but I thought it was best for the animal for just pure breeding purposes, soundness and breeding purposes. 
In 2007, one-time Pepto's first offspring were born, signaling the beginning of a new generation. The foals raised at the Matthews Cutting Horses facility in Turkey, North Carolina, thrive in lush, spacious pastures on the soil once farmed by Jeffrey Matthews' grandfather. Today, the location serves as an ideal home for the brood mares and young stock owned by Matthews Cutting Horses. Here, weanlings grow and play in an ideal environment. It's all because of Jeffrey. Jeffrey doesn't let a colt leave this ranch to go to a trainer until he's put it through his program. And he gets these colts broke, they're soft, they give, and when the trainers get them, they've already been to high school, now they're ready to go to college. Yearlings grow strong and fit, and some of the finest are carefully selected for entry into the NCHA Futurity Sale. When the babies are born, he's right there looking at them, which ones do we like, which ones don't we like. When we get them up, decide which ones are going to the sales. He watches them go around in the round pen. I mean, it's, he's very hands-on. He's, he's the whole reason this is what it is. The two-year-olds are started under saddle in a strategic and time-tested system before they're carefully graduated into some of the finest training programs in the country. Now, I'm just very passionate about my fundamental program, not only genetics, but the nutrition, but is handling the, the horses as well, doing it from the time they're a baby to, as we spend a lot of time on the ground before we ever step on a horse. Ground drive them, go hobble them, saddle them, and just make them be mannered, be horses. There's no quick fix, it's just a, a slow process. It takes time, but when it starts working, it's very rewarding, and then we do ride them. They're not scared. And, um, we just go out and put a lot of miles on them. Jeffrey loved to spend time with them, and, and that's, I, I like spending time with two-year-olds, just getting them, you know, real soft and, and listening to you and, and uh, easy to handle. And, and that way, when you go to cattle and, and further into their training career, it's, it's just so much easier. I mean, you know, instead of ramming and jamming and, and jerking, and it's just, Everything just, you know, it's one page just like writing a book, you know. I mean, you write every chapter, you got a, a solid book. The first full crop by one-time Pepto, now two-year-olds in training, will enter the show pen in 2010 under the guidance of some of the most notable trainers in the performance horse industry today. They seem like they learn every day, you know. Um, a horse that's, uh, that gets better every day uh, means a few things. It's, it's smart and it's got talent. Um, I, out of the colts that I have, um, they all have a little something different that is good, you know, uh, maybe a little bit better than the other one. Um, uh, all of them are, have got plenty of talent, quickness, um, and cali. Some of them move bigger, some of them uh, cow stronger, some of them work lower. I mean, it's, uh, I just, it's a variety of a, of a package in all of them, but they all seem to do very well. I'm very excited about this horse. He's you know, we've got a lot of really good two-year-olds here. It, you know, it's hard to say which one is the best, but he's right there at the top of them. And, you know, he's one as a trainer that gives you the feeling, come this time next year, you'll be glad you have him instead of having to worry about trying to beat somebody else on him. You know, biggest thing I like about this horse is that I, that I can ride him, you know, in the morning, late at night, and he comes out and he's the same every day. He's got a lot of turn, he wants to stop. Um, you know, I mean, he's really good on a cow, knows how to use himself in the correct way. You know, I can't really say that there's anything I like in particular. I like him, I like the whole, everything I've got to work with. I would have to say, without being too cliche, is that they are probably, as two-year-olds, you know, of all the years that I've trained, and they're probably some of the best two-year-olds, in my opinion, at this time that I've ever really ridden. Um, they're very smart, they can stop, and they're very willing to train. Um, they're just very, uh, they have a lot of potential. Now we get into a three-year-old year, but I feel I'm really comfortable with them, I'm really excited about them. They're just, uh, they really, they got good intentions. They're very cally, and they can really stop. And what more can you ask for in a two-year-old? As a new era unfolds, don't miss your chance to be part of the legacy of one-time Pepto. 
an exceptional stallion with both pedigree and performance, and now an up-and-coming progeny with an unsurpassed foundation destined for greatness. One-time Pepto. His time is now.